Ole Miss ASB's vote to remove the state flag from campus was met with mixed reactions. While many celebrated, others were disappointed. I respect the opinions of my fellow senators, but I don't agree with them. ASB Senator Andrew Sober was one of the opposing voices on removing the flag. Sober recently started a petition to keep the flag flying at Ole Miss. I caught word that if I get 10% of the student body to sign this petition, which is like 1,700 people out of 17,000, then we have the potential of making it a, a, a campus-wide vote, which is what I first off believe, first off, because a Senate composed of 49 people should not dictate or should not speak for 15,000 students on campus. ASB Senator Alan Kuhn was emotional after last night's decision. Kuhn has worked with the Ole Miss NAACP for many weeks to ask for the removal of the flag. It's impactful to know that the voices of students that are affected by this symbol, they were heard and that they matter and that we respect their dignity, we respect their their voices and that we're going to fight for change. Although there is a mixed reaction at Ole Miss, campus leading organizations like the Sigma Nu Fraternity have already taken down the state flag. In a statement to the Daily Mississippi and Sigma Nu President Taylor Massengill said, in light of the recent decision made by the Associated Student Body Senate, Sigma Nu Epsilon Psi has removed the state flag from our flagpole in an effort to show respect and support for all members of the University of Mississippi family. It is our hope that the university can move forward and begin to focus on the bright future ahead of us. The ASB's vote will now be discussed by the Ole Miss Faculty Senate, who will meet tomorrow at 7 p.m. to consider a joint passage of the resolution. If the resolution passes, Kuhn is confident senior campus leaders will listen. Staff council last night already passed through a resolution um, supporting um, taking down the flag. So we're seeing the governing bodies across this campus are addressing this issue and we anticipate the senior administration to to um, hear our voices. Browning Stubbs, Newswatch.